Am I heard now? Hello? I don't even know if I'm being heard now. Uh, why is it not working? Go to advanced. Oh, oh, I think it's working. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Just had to wait a couple seconds for that. Perfect. Turn this off. Uh, and I think we're good now. Just put this volume up a tiny bit. Okay. We're back. We are back. Uh, anyways, back to my original uh, rant. Why is the large light cruiser a battle cruiser? That makes no sense. Anyway, anyways, new towers though. That doesn't look like a new tower, unless I've just forgotten what the towers look like. So let's. These look like. The normal towers, unless, I don't know, they look very similar. I could be wrong. Let's just say, throw some of these up. That might be new, I'm not sure. Guns seem to look the same. Seems to pretty much look the same. Uh, let's get rid of that. Yeah, these all seem the same. Nothing different there. Ooh, that's different. So these are the same, but these are different. Interesting. Very interesting. I kind of like how they look. And supposedly we have new barbettes as well. Yes. It does look pretty cool. Any more new barbettes? Just the one it looks like. Okay. Okay. Can even throw them up there. That looks pretty nice. I like that a lot. Okay. So that that little hull. Not really sure how I feel about a light cruiser being a battle cruiser. Like you can make it really small. Really small battle cruiser. Fifteen thousand tons. Is that just about as heavy as heavy cruisers get? Well, game's stuttering. That's not a good thing. Uh, yeah, that's just about the heavy cruiser size. All right. This is getting a little loud for my liking. I don't know. You guys tell me if that's too loud or not. Uh, it's going to disappear for a second as I look at the lists because of how tabbing out works. Next British ship is the Command Cruiser. This is in 1939. I'm glad they put them in order. Not really. So 1939. Oh, oh, hey, wait a minute. I can do 1950 now. Oh, that's dope. Okay, what, what, what's the 19, uh, 1950? I need to know. I need to know and I need to see... Just about the same amount of stuff. So I'm assuming this is all the best stuff unlocked. The fact that we have 1950 now though is pretty nice. Now let's grab a super tall barbette. 20 inch. Oh, I like that you can hover over them and the tooltip is gone unless you hover over it for a second. Mark 520. Ooh. Okay, so finally we can actually have Mark V 20 inch guns. Okay, it's pretty cool. Can't hear the game. Gosh, you know what? 
whatever. Whatever, don't care anymore. Ooh, uh, quad barrel, five inch, four inch, and six inch. Quad sevens and eight inch guns just look like a main gun. That's pretty cool. Oh, if I, these guns could work, please. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Seven inch quads also look pretty cool. I really like the how they look. Maybe not quite historical, but I do like how they look regardless. I do like the look of them. And then obviously these three inch guns have been a while. Have been around for a while. Okay. That's cool. I just wanted to check out the 1950s stuff. It seems pretty pretty basic. The only thing is some of these guns are higher marks. 20 inch guns are normally three inch or not three inch three or mark three in 1940 but 1950 they're all mark fives pretty cool pretty cool okay uh let's go back to 1939 and design the heavy cruiser right it's a command cruiser it doesn't tell me what it is I'm going to assume it's a heavy cruiser. Yes, here it is. That's kind of cool. So here's the experimental heavy cruiser, which I think is also a new ship. Oh, that's neat. I think modern heavy cruiser. Oh, that looks pretty basic. I think the two and one are new. Oh, that looks pretty basic. That also looks pretty basic. Uh, one of these might be new, but just resized. Modern Cruiser 1, that's new, I think. Compact Heavy Cruiser, I think this is also new. That definitely looks new. And Heavy Cruiser 2 also looks new, yep. So what do our towers look like for this? Ooh, okay, that's a little too big. Let's go to the Compact Heavy Cruiser. Let's see if I can't slap it on here. Nope, fun. Okay, uh, Modern Cruiser 1, see if we can't slap it on. There we go. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Especially if we throw a gun on. Let's try maybe a 7 inch. Okay, I need to. 7 inch, any look any good? Now nah, it looks a little small, if anything. Maybe not, though. Let's check out what the 8 inch guns look like on here. They don't fit. Oh, great. That's just fantastic. So you can only put 7 inch guns on here. Maybe the 7 inch 3s look a little better. No, not really. Okay, so 7 inch 4 is all you can really do. Anything else is just too flat. I don't like how tall that is, but oh well. Uh, the secondary towers are also new. I could click this please that looks like it's hanging over that is definitely hanging over okay seven inch guns are not supposed to go there what about six inch guns can a six inch gun fit there nope still hanging over uh maybe secondary five yeah five inch gun as soon as that little light goes away there we go doesn't really shoot over this though Definitely a little bit of a weirder ship. Uh, can I throw four quads here? Nope. Can I fit twos? I can fit twos there. Couple twos. Okay. Not a very efficient uh, main tower or secondary tower. I don't suppose I can fit torpedoes somewhere sneaky in here. Nope. Okay. Funnels are new. I actually forgot to add them. Let's uh, drag this back, see if they look any good. Ooh, I can put it in here, apparently. Or not. That's a weird bug. It lets me place it there, even though it's badly placed. Okay, so it fits there, though. Okay. Not a bad-looking ship. Not fantastic, but not horrible. Um, okay. 
let me also try fixing this game audio really quick. I think the only thing I have to do for that. Oh, I just I disabled that. OK. I was wondering what super complicated things I would have to do to fix that, but I looked over and I realized I just had it muted. OK, not a bad looking ship. Let's move on to the command cruiser. See what that looks like. Main tower, that's new. Yes, that's definitely new. What can I fit in there? I'm assuming like 7 inch guns. Definitely 7 inch guns. The main gun would probably have to be something a little bigger, maybe like a 10 inch. Maybe some barbettes would be good. Grab this new barbette, actually. Actually, that's a little bit of a small barbette. Never mind. We also need funnels. Slap one right there. And secondary tower. We could get the really small one, or we could go for the bigger one, and the bigger one does look pretty cool. We also have this. Mm, interesting. Let's just go with the small one. Does the small one look any good? Not really. I'd like to have a full-sized uh, citadel looking thing. I cannot get two of them. Okay. Can I put more sevens back here? Yes, I can. Sevens are pretty good back there, actually. I think I can get more right there. I that might be a little oversized. I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, barbettes. Let's get some bigger barbettes. Doesn't look any good. Let's get a super firing. Let's get a 9 inch gun. Is that a quad? That is a quad. Definitely interesting. That gun is so low. and That is... What? What? Again, has been sunken in. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. Okay. Uh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, anyways. All these British guns seem a little small. That's okay. A couple more sevens. Yeah, sevens might be look better. Okay. Uh, and there's all these other hulls. We go back to this. Do any of them fit? That one fits. That one fits. I do need a funnel. Uh, they're very small funnels though. That's good. Can I put it here or is it going to be a problem? Nope. Okay. I don't think it's supposed to go into it like that, but okay. There, that's that looks okay. Our bits, just the sevens is all I really need. I even get side sevens if I wanted. Not sure how side sevens look. Yeah, might as well. Any more? Nope. Okay, secondary side fives? Nope. Side threes? No. You really don't have a lot of Anchor points for anything. They don't look that good in quads, but I'm sure triples they'd look better. So let's grab some triples. Mm, marginally. Yeah. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about I want to do some of this there. Secondary tower down here. Oh, that's new. Are those boats apart? Okay, no, there they go. Funnels, funnel, funnel, funnel. I guess we put that down here. Oh, I deleted it by accident. There we go, put that there. This look, looks kind of cool. I'm assuming, again, 7 inch guns are the only thing that are going to look marginally good on this ship. Uh, we might have to do 6-inch guns here. 
And some five inch guns right there. As soon as that light goes away. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad at all. Torpedo launchers. I am noticing there's not a lot of space for torpedo launchers. I think that's supposed to be. I don't know. I don't know if that's an anchor point from the ship or from the tower. Seems to be from the ship. So let's just do that. I'm assuming something goes back here. I'm assuming it has to be secondary. Are we talking threes? Threes works. Uh, do four work? Fours do work. Not a great turning circle, and I don't know why. Maybe it's like three triples? No. Yeah, maybe just threes in general. No, it's just a bad turning circle no matter what. Okay. So pretty pointless to have that there. I'll keep it there because it looks kind of neat, but... I think that's it. I think the modern heavy cruiser... I didn't design it, but it's very similar to something else I designed. I believe this one... It's a little different. Get that new tower. I don't really like that it doesn't show me the picture anymore, but oh well. I guess it was kind of annoying. Slap a thing right there. Let me bring this back a bit. Bring this back a little bit more. Barbet, don't need it. Because we got a barbet right there. And then I guess again, we just have to do the five inch gun up there and six inch gun right there. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll go forward though. There. Not a bad looking ship. I kind of like how these little cruisers look. Let's move on. Any new battle cruisers? Do we still have the large light cruiser potentially? Nope. So what else do we have? The germ. Okay, well I want to do all the British ships first. Experimental heavy cruiser. Yep, already got that. British modern cruiser one. Uh. Haven't I already been looking at that? It would load. Yeah, that's literally what the one I just designed. Okay. So that was Modern Cruiser 1. Compact Heavy Cruiser. That's this one. Uh, any more British? Heavy Cruiser 2. I believe we also went over that. Heavy, yeah, yeah, we did. Heavy Cruiser 1. I haven't gone over Heavy Cruiser 1, I don't think. Yeah, okay, I have not gone over that yet. Let's go check out what Heavy Cruiser 1 is. It's 1917. Maybe just go back to 1919 and still work. And that will show me... I probably should turn off battleships. I, I don't. There's no new ones. Oh, wow. That is extremely skinny. <laughs> What happened, buddy? Didn't eat a whole lot as a child? Yeah, that is... No wonder none of these towers are gonna fit on this thing. What happened, buddy? This is so skinny. Okay, it's gotta have like some great, like, whole form. Really? Only 92? I mean, it could do 29.5 in, uh... What is this, 1919? Which is pretty good. 9.5 as a base stat. Truth Reduce beam even more. Oh my goodness. It's so small. I'm surprised anything fits on this. I didn't even reduce the drafts. I'm sure I could put this thing way up now. About 34 knots. 38 knots. Not 38. 37. 36. 35. 34. 33. 32. 31. 30, 29.5, come back to that later. Uh, funnel, pretty basic funnels. Barbettes, that's definitely interesting. I can push everything a little forward, which I can do. 
So we got this tower. Oh, that would look pretty cool with that. We have this tower. Very interesting. I think this tower will fit. Let's see if we can throw some eights on here. Eights fit on all of these. Eights fit on all of these. And they don't look that bad, honestly. Sevens might look a little better. Let's check. Do sevens look better? This needs to go a little far forward. Sevens don't necessarily look better. I mean, I kind of like how they both look. We'll do eights, though, since we've been doing mostly sevens anyways. So eight, eight, and eight. A very interesting look. And then, yeah, this would have to go down here. So I think instead of that, we're going to do the secondary tower. It should all be the same. Let's get the barbet two. Barbet one. Barbet one will fit. I don't know if it's going to fit the eight inch gun though. No. So we need to move this even further up. So let's attach this to this, so it'll move. And then drag this a tiny bit forward, and that should be enough for at least the two. Yeah, what about the three? Can't quite fit the three in. Let's get the two. Try and get it right up against that. Ooh, the eight doesn't fit on that either. Okay. Drag this a tiny bit forward, tiny bit forward, and tiny bit forward. Let's get the barbet 3. Barbet 3 works now. The 8 inch gun does fit on this. It's definitely a lot of 8 inch guns. I like the side profile. A little weird down here. Maybe a very small barbet, something like. Uh, ooh, that's cool. Doesn't fit on it. I'm pretty sure probably more of a secondary thing. Pretty cool little barbettes. Come back to that later. Let's grab this. An additional 8 inch gun and then put one more down here. There we go. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of 8 inch guns. That is a lot of 8 inch guns for sure. I really like the side profile. Front looks nice. Probably look a little better if I didn't have all these on negative. There we go. Yeah. Does not look horrible. Not look horrible at all. Um. Okay. I'm gonna turn down this music a tiny bit. I feel like it's a little loud. Interrupting my thoughts. I normally don't play with music on, so you have to understand. Range is not that good. Oh, probably because we don't have that good engine efficiency, so like oil balance would probably give. Yeah, that's a pretty good range now. Okay, not bad. Uh, so that was the British Heavy Cruiser 1. Where else is British? There is the Advanced Escort Cruiser. That seems like a light cruiser. 35. Okay, let's go to 35. Uh, um, let's take out those. I assume it's going to be a light cruiser, but I'll click on this one too. Yeah, it's going to be a light cruiser. Advanced Escort Cruiser? No, no, cruiser. Uh, that's a little big. That's just right, I think. Yeah. Just snug. I'm assuming you will fit slightly smaller guns, because these sixes seem a little big. Yeah, the sixes are too big. So you can get a couple five inch guns there. And maybe like a seven up front. And probably on a barbet though. Uh you can try using this barbet. That looks kinda cool. Five and five. A little small in the front though, I think we delete that, we put some bigger guns up there, potentially even this. I don't know if 7's fit on there. 
They do, but they don't look like they should. So maybe some sixes then. Sixes fit in the barbette, but they don't look as big as they should. This is such a tall, like, superstructure for such small guns is my problem. We need something like, maybe like this would be pretty good. Dang. And like inside the ship, like it's, it's trying to get me to place it inside the ship, not on top. That looks less bad. I don't suppose I could fit the six inches on there? I could. They look a little big, but it's okay. Funnels, yeah, this is all pretty much the same that we've seen. Uh, that's a little different, I think. There we go. Not a bad ship. Not a bad looking ship either. I'm surprised I can put five inch guns right there. Kind of funny. If anything, I would want to supersize those. I'm like 6.9s. Maybe not those. These I would rotate. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. There. A little tall. I don't like how tall they are. Probably like Redru Redruce? Yes, Redruce. I will reduce it a little bit. Makes it a little better. Or negative 10%. Beam is fine. My cruiser, yeah, not a bad looking ship. Quite a few six inch guns, I like that. Range is okay already. That's without doing that and, oh, that and that. Better range. But do balance make it worse? Balance makes it worse? Interesting. I don't think they did that before. Maybe that's a new thing. Oh yeah. So getting better boilers reduces the range. Though it makes the engine efficiency better. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Good to know. So natural is the best for range. And obviously auxiliary four. Uh, plus 10% fuel efficiency, so that should make my range oh, not that much better. I wonder if there's a different stat for range now. Doesn't seem like it. No, it's still Ox 4. I just don't know if it changes it as much as it did before. Maybe gear turbines. I feel like turbines had bad range, and I can't remember why. Makes the range better, range better. What about turbo electric? Oh, wow, really good. Turbo electric is always good. Diesel, diesel two. Oh right, yeah, so diesel two max range is pretty good range, especially for well for 1935. It's okay. Okay, uh, pretty neat ship. Again, I don't think anything down here has really been changed. Yeah, this is all pretty much the same. Nothing's been changed, so that's why I'm not going through any of it. Uh, oh yeah, supposedly armor's been maxed out. Oh, yeah, 6.8 inches max for the, uh, what is this, light cruiser? Yeah, this is a light cruiser, so that's actually been increased, because it used to be 6 inches. So I can do 6.8 on everything, so that's definitely been increased. I wonder if that's an increase from, oh, conning tower, they made more. I remember... You used to just be able to make six inch bricks, so like you would just have pretty much something like this is oh this is as high as you can go. Now you can go higher. Which is nice. So I don't suppose we have longer turrets now. Not 20% still as long as they go. Fun. Uh any other holes? Advanced escort cruiser one. There we go. A little different. You are max of 6.3. Okay, so it depends on the hull. That's nice. So every light cruiser hull can't do 6 inches, supposedly. 
Yeah, this is all 6.3 inch uh, rounded. Okay. Um, let's get the other one. I think Advanced Scout Cruiser might be new as well. Yeah, that's definitely new. Pretty much the same towers for all of these. This is, haven't used that one yet, technically. Not really any good spaces for barbettes, they're all pretty big. Is it gonna fit it up here? Nope. Okay. One right there. Triples for the guns. What's the maximum armor for this? Yeah, 5.3. It's even less now. But this one goes up to 12. Interesting. Uh, okay. This one also doesn't have any torpedo slots. Boom! Boom! No one likes that. That's fine. All right, uh, for the heavy cruisers, let's check really quick, because I think 35 will have some new ones. Yeah, compact heavy cruiser. You are maxed at 8.1 inches, ooh. So you can't just slap, because I think before you could slap up to like 14 or something. I forgot what the exact maximum was, but I know I could go up to 12 and above. But now it's all 8.1, at least for this tower. Or this ship. Let's go to modern heavy cruiser one. Seven point nine inches, really? That's super interesting. Oh, accidentally changed the ship again. So modern heavy cruiser, what is that for? Yeah, you go up to seven point three as well. So why does the heavy cruiser have so much more armor? This goes up to eight point five. Yeah. So why are the more modern heavy cruisers restricted to lower armor? 7.7, .7, yeah. It's all different. What about the compact heavy cruiser? Is this the one I already checked? 8.1 inches. Hmm. Interesting. So let's just say I went down to... Let's just do 1920. There's probably a few new ones there too. Uh, I think, yeah, this is one of the new ones. Hmm. Uh, 7.6 inches, so pretty much all these heavy cruiser hulls have the same amount. Let's check the armor cruisers though. Also 8.1 on probably everything. Check the armor cruiser 5, 8.2. Also they're very short. Kind of cute. Yeah, I feel like this is like what the normal size used to be. Now you have to extend it to actually get that size. These can get very short, wow. Hmm. Okay, uh, like, and then like light cruisers, they can only have, yeah, 3.6 inches of armor. Interesting. I like this. So then now people can't just have Tons and tons of armor on their ships, and I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Only double barrels, that makes sense. If that counts as a blockage for that gun, that's annoying. Oh well. Okay, not bad. Uh, is that a new tower? That might also be a new tower, it doesn't look that bad. And we've seen these already. Have you seen this? We saw that. We saw that. Yeah, we saw all those. Okay. Pretty cool. Um, cool that it limits the armor. I think that's about it. I definitely seem to have changed range. That could just be my imagination. Oh, never mind. Okay. What is like 1900s? What do you mean France is no battle cruiser? Wait, France is no battle cruisers in 1900? Oh, because I selected it. Okay, never mind. My apologies. Oh, let's, ch let's check the chat. I haven't looked at this in a while. 
Is there land combat in the game or was it other part of the series? Yeah, Marius, uh, you explained it pretty well. Uh, there is technically land combat. You will never control it. And then the only thing you will ever really see of it is like a little arrow just depicting like uh, who's winning. And that's it. There's technically not. I mean, there technically is, but it's again, not really. Not really. I already checked this. Let's check the Armor Cruiser 3. Uh, 6.2. Interesting. So you can only have 6.2 inches of armor on this heavy cruiser. And the light cruisers, I'm assuming, will have even less. No, that's more. 4.4. The other one was 3.6. Uh, what about this one? I feel like this one's going to have way less. Yeah, 2.4 inches armor max. I hate it when like these old uh, light cruisers would just have six inches of armor. It made like no sense. And you have 2.1 at the max. There we go. That's very interesting. I still think this is all pretty much just cruiser stuff. Yeah, a lot of cruisers. Uh, let's go through all of this again then. Was that all the British? I want to make sure I go through all the British first. I think the British got the most. 35, 17, uh, 17, 17, I think I got most of the British ones, Scout Cruiser 1910, yeah that's all for the British, alright let's move on to the Germans, oh the Germans have a battleship, they have a hybrid battleship, and that is 1935, German Reich, Let's check it out, just make it a single transport. Where is this hybrid? I don't see- have I been lied to? It is a Scharnhorst class with more accuracy. From 1935. I don't see it. Have you lied to me? Or is it actually a battle cruiser and I'm going to be pissed if it's a battle cruiser. Hybrid battleship? Yeah, it's probably a battle cruiser. Probably a battle cruiser. Yep, it's a battle cruiser. Okay. Oh, that's new. That's definitely new. I feel like this one is relatively the same. This is like an elongated version of the normal tower though why it looks so stretched looks like you can have bigger secondary guns on it though yeah because you can't normally put those in there very interesting that that works can you put eight inch guns in here nope not eight inch guns maybe seven inch yeah put seven inch quads in there very interesting Uh, all these are just about the same. So that's cool that they have a new little secondary tower thing. Okay. Oh, the kind tower is changeable after the actual towers. Gotcha. Thank you again, Marius. Yeah, so I'm assuming if I didn't have any thing on there, maximum was 14.1, but then when I actually put something on here, and now I can adjust these to be 22. Even more than that. Uh, 23.1 specifically. Very cool. So this is supposed to be a very Sharnhorst. Sh Sharnhorst? I think that's how you pronounce it. A uh, very esque class of a ship. I suppose I could put two in here if I wanted. No. Alright. These funnels seem a little small for the ship, but that's okay. I don't really need my bets. Oh, these guns don't look very pretty. Oh, that's actually disgusting. I hate that. That is disgusting. We stick with the triples. Actually, no, we stick with the doubles because it's a German battleship. The 16s might be a little big. 
Scharnhurst, uh, I believe, had 15 inch guns. I could be totally wrong. I thought she had 15 inch guns. They do look a little better, anyways. We can also slap these back here. Hmm. I don't know, maybe a triple would have been better. Make her a little longer. Drag this back. Drag this back as well. Drag this forward. And drag this back. There, now she looks a little better. Now she look a little better. For secondaries, I think fives is the way to go. I don't know why the fives don't really work with this. Yeah, it's like, I feel like this tower's like, got unintentionally elongated. I don't know why the, the quads work, but the triples don't. It's weird. The quads work here too? Alright, we'll just make it a quads then. Since it's being annoying. There we go. And then the fours. Can I put fours up here? Do I have to be? I can't even put fours up there. They have to be triples. I can put triple quads up here though. Or not triple quads. Uh, Quad three inch guns. Which is kind of funny. Kinda. Alright. Not a bad looking chip hole. Cherno's pronunciation was on point. Lovely. Lovely. I'm sure I'm gonna botch it later, but good to know for now. Battlecruiser armor maxed at 14 inches. I like that. I like that a lot. I was getting sick of people going, all right, it's time to put 16 to 18 inches on the Battlecruiser. It was always so stupid. Now it's actually limited. Definitely gonna make Shipyard Champions a very interesting, very interesting game since, uh, Battlecruiser v Battleships will not be the same fights. Speaking of Battleships, let's go to the Battleships. I think they're all pretty similar. Except that Battleships can have... Oh. Being crashed, maybe? Uh-oh. Nope, we're good. Okay. 23.1 inches of armor. I think I already looked at that. Charnhorst had 28 centimeter guns, 11 inch. Oh, right. Yeah, no, you are right. I, I forgot about that. Wasn't there only like six of them? Wasn't it? I thought, Char wait, well, was Charnhorst the pocket battleship? Was it the pocket battleship? Wasn't it the one that had six 11 inch guns? No, that, one, that was a heavy cruiser that had the six 11 inch guns. I'm stupid. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. My history's a little off. I just hear little things and I hear the things that my viewers tell me and that's about all I all I know. Anyways, these ships can only have a certain amount of armor, but it's pretty much double what the battle cruiser gets. Not quite double. 19 inches maximum is actually kinda cool. 19 inches maximum. The fact that the deck is also 19 inch maximum is not exactly accurate, but it's okay. It's a start. And yeah, I throw on a tower and it's gonna let me make this even. Oh my goodness, 37 inches! Wow. That is a heavily armed conning tower. Heavily armed. I hate these towers. I need to get rid of them. Oh, you can't even do anything but this? That's so stupid. I don't like these towers. I mean, this one I don't mind, but then the fact that the secondary tower that matches it is just the same tower reversed. I hate it. I just I just don't like it. I'm thinking of the Graf Spey. Uh, yes. Yes, I, I am. I am thinking of the Graf Spey. Uh... Okay. Helgoland funny um ba, ba, ba. So the super battleship 2 i believe will have even more than 23.1 inches of armor go down here 23.7 are the most armored ships you can get 
He had six 11 inch guns and two towers. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, so it's a happy cruiser though. I want to see if I go to 1950 and to Battleship Battle Cruiser, just get all these, not too pretty to vote. I want to compare the armor in 1950. Yeah, Spain and Hipper were pocket battleships. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was that way too. Actually, I have a test. I mean, this game is really lagging. Okay, uh, max out armor 23.8. But if I increase it. No, okay. What if I do this? Does this let me have more armor? Nope. Um. Just let me increase it. Oh man, you love to see the, the button delay. Okay, now. So there's nothing that lets you increase the armor past its limits. Throw a couple towers on. I'm not that tower. Maximum conning tower. 37.5. So very well protected the ship. I do like that they max it at 23.8. Obviously people are probably only going to go to 20 inches main build. That's all you really need. But this is again on like the biggest battleship possible. Like the smallest you can make this. Let me check how small you can make this. 80,000 tons. That is the absolute smallest you can go with this hull. So yeah. Uh, I mean you could do something like this. Like exactly like this. I kind of want to see if I can actually make some sort of very small battleship. Very small. I'm assuming I have Mark V guns on everything. Nothing above Mark V. Nope. Okay. So 1950, you want to at least be using 16 inch guns. Maybe quads. That's 12. 12, 16. This is not bad. Not great, but not bad. I kind of miss the yellow quads. They looked a little a little better, but that's just me. I think you could even put secondaries on top of the uh of the guns. Yeah, you can. A tiny little two inch well not that one apparently. Not that one. Okay, never mind, you can't do it at all. Cool. But you can make like a little small battleship, maximum armor, 12, 16 inch guns, make it as small as possible. Just get that armor. Not to mention the citadel. Uh, so they're all five. We have four. It's Germany. Turtle all back all the way. Uh, yeah. I might build something like that later in an actual campaign. Let's see what the battle cruiser limit is. Oh, this game absolutely loves me today. The first big mark. Probably didn't say that at all correct. 14.2 inches again. That is the hybrid battleship. What about the modern battle cruiser? Does this have less? Yes, only 11.2 inches of armor. What about the large cruiser? Actually, gets 12.7. So the large cruiser gets more than the modern battle cruiser. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's actually go to the heavy cruisers and see how much armor they get. So the modern heavy cruiser 3 gets only 6.7 inches of armor. Wow, that is nothing. It has like light cruiser range. Yeah, th that's better. 9.5 inches for the modern heavy cruiser too. I wonder if that's something to do with resistance. Yeah, this has way less resistance than this. I think this, this is just supposed to be a faster ship than... Well, it's only 0.5 knots faster. What exactly makes it so much better? I don't know. Hey, the fact that it can just get bigger. Not that much though. I feel like the 2 is just better. Advanced Armor Cruiser 2. Goes up to 11 inches. That's really good actually. Resistance 101. I, it actually might be based off of resistance. 98. Okay, well if this was 11 inches. And 101 resistance. Then I predict this. My resistance is going to be a little under that. So like 10.7. I that was a total guess. That was a total guess. 
Well, okay, so it is, I think, based off resistance. So this one should be about 9 inches max. 8.6, yeah, close. And then this one has a resistance of 55, so this will also be like 6.7. Yeah. Okay, so it is based off of a resistance. That's cool, I like that. Um, anyways. This is a destroyer hull, as a heavy cruiser. What? That's interesting. I've seen these as light cruisers before, never as a heavy cruiser. How big is this? 10,000 tons. Definitely interesting. This doesn't even fit. Where am I supposed to put this? Yeah, let's use this one then. Funnels, just put a couple in here, or one I guess, since I can't get two. Guns, that's gonna be really weird seeing 11 inch guns on a ship like this. You wanna, hey guys, look at the crash bay. I oh, wait, it's supposed to be six. Hey guys, look, it's the crash bay. Laurie, welcome. Not a fan of the limitation of armor myself. Removes yet another piece of sandbox fun. Well, I suppose that is true. One of the best things about this game is the sandbox fun. But after years of playing with that, it's kind of nice to have something new. I'm sure I'll get bored of it eventually. But I do kind of like it. It's based on resistance. I wonder if that means... What adds resistance? You add resistance. Let's see, it's 15%. 7.5. And... 7.5. I knew it. I can increase armor based off resistance. There you go, folks. That's how you increase your armor. Citadel, and it's our triple hull bottom. Just like that. I don't think this increases resistance. Nope. So what else recre increases resistance? Do you? Nope. I don't think you do. Just floatability. I don't see why you would do that. No. Okay. If you want to increase your armor, uh, yeah, Citadel, Hobotum, and Antitorp. Uh, what else can I really experiment with? Oh, yes, the <laughs> lovely Graf Spey. Totally, totally accurate. 10,000 tons. That's probably accurate. Probably. Yeah, two towers, six 11 inch guns. That's definitely what it is. Uh, let's go back to the big, big ship. Your eyes are bleeding. You're welcome. Let's go back to the big ship. So we can only have 23 of 23.8 inches of armor maximum on the German battleship, but Citadel 5. Oh, wait, no, Citadel 4. We were already there. Plus triple hull and antitorp. Yeah, now we can increase it to 28.2. Aha. So there you go. You technically. Don't, well, I mean, there's still a limit, but you can kind of mess with the uh, limits by adding on some Entatorp, Triple Bottom, and Citadel. So now, actually, uh, Citadel 4 has more use because we have 28.2. If I go down to I'm losing about 7.5 resistance, Citadel 5. How much did I lose any? Yeah, now I can only do 27, so that's a whole... 1.2 inches of armor, which isn't a lot for a ship like this, but on a heavy cruiser where the maximum is 7.8, if I go down to Citadel 5. Oh, okay, I guess it scales. It's only 0.3 inches of armor, so it doesn't matter that much. I got cheap. Okay, actually, the, is that the same amount of resistance? 6.5. I guess it scales based off of the amount of armor you can have. But I mean, it's 0.3 inches, you know, it could be good. Okay, we're gonna name this the Graf Spey, and come back to that. CLs. Yeah, here, it's the same hole again, lovely. We got this compact, it doesn't even fit. Fun, you fit though. You don't look like you should fit though. Okay, we're going to need to increase the beam for this to actually look good at all. Yeah, that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. These really don't fit. 
Okay, fun. So you could always put it down here. Nope, never mind. Screw that. Can't put it down there. Can put it over there though, which is um interesting. See a couple floating boats. That's definitely interesting. Do something like this instead. Uh, funnels. Throw a couple down there. And then a secondary tower over here. Looks pretty cool. I could put it up here. Never mind. Can't do that. Barbets. Pretty much the same. We have these like little cool barbets now though. Put it up here too. Cool. I believe only 5 inch guns fit on it. Yes, only 5 inch guns fit on it. Doesn't look terrible. I don't know. Maybe there'll be another use for it later. Uh, what else is there? Oh yes, um, so ignoring the- so we don't get into torpedo, so you can increase resistance even less. Only 4.1 inches of armor. It's definitely not a lot, but... Into tower 4 and triple hull bottom lets me go up to... A whole extra 0.6 inches of armor! Woo! That's probably not gonna help me out that much, but whatever. Good to know. Actually, that means that the Russian battleships probably have the most... Because if I go back to the battleship, this might not even have the most resistance. Because if I remember, I thought the modern battleships had more resistance. 105, 102, 95, 81. I remembered wrong. Let's look at destroyers. Let's see if they still have 1.1... 1 .1, or, sorry, 1.5 inch maximum. 1.3 However triple hull bottom 1.4 wow that did that was that, that was a crazy crazy amount of extra armor right there uh towers I've seen this before in light cruisers oh I don't think yeah these funnels are not gonna fit on that well as an unfortunate combination I'll have to put it something like that I mean, not to use the hybrid destroyer. Yeah, the even 35 knots is not that good. Yeah, almost all these destroyers are faster. I bet you, actually, the hybrid destroyer might have more armor. 97 resistance, yeah, 80, 78, and 44. So this is going to have even less armor potential. So 1.1. And with triple hull, probably not even an additional point one. Uh, one additional. And these have not really any different. Now this only has 44 resistance. Maximum 0.7 inches. Can only get up to 0.7, even with the triple bottom. Wow. So destroyers are very limited in armor. No longer can you get 1.5 bricks. Destroyers like this can only go up to 1.7. Might be different, I don't know, maybe in the campaign there's a possibility of getting more resistance, but I doubt it. Oh, it was actually 1950s, so. What if we went back to, say, 1930s? Actually, no, let's check out Russia 1950. Because the one German battleship had 105 resistance, but this one doesn't actually have that much more. 109. Any more... 105. Okay, so this is the most resistant battleship in the game as far as I can tell. There we go. And if I go triple hull, anti torp, citadel 4, come down here. 29.1 inches of armor. But if I remove all this, it only goes up to 24. So that's a whole 5 inches. That's very useful on a battleship, especially. Probably be even more useful on a battle cruiser though, because those extra inches are going to mean a lot more. Now you can only have like 14 inches maximum. 92 resistance, 83, and 80. Oh, there's a couple more. 90 and 80. I think 92, yeah, 92. Oh, you have lagged. Awesome. So current maximum. 13.1 the next maximum with all those 15.4 that's yeah okay uh have I been checking out these holes those are all very I don't think we have many new Russian ships 
I'm pretty sure these are all... Oh, I, hold on. Experiment to Battle Cruiser. It might be new. That does not look new. I think I've seen that before. Okay, let's get back to what I was doing before, which was actually going through all these ships. So we looked at the Hyper Battleship, which was a Battle Cruiser. Um, Modern Heavy Cruiser 3 is in 33. Admiral Hipper class. That's actually a light cruiser? It could be. Hold on. I think Admiral Hipper was a heavy cruiser. What's it called? Modern Heavy Cruiser 3. No, of course it's a heavy cruiser then. This is it. This is the apparently the Admiral Hipper class. Again, we have the really long secondary tower. I don't think they're supposed to be this long. I think somebody messed up because these are very long. These are elongated for some reason. Yeah, they're not supposed to be like that. Somebody messed up in the modeling. That's fine. Admiral Hippers had 8 inch guns? Wasn't it 12 8 inch guns? I just want Admiral Hipper had 12 8 inch guns. I could be completely wrong, but that's what I remember. Just design that really quick. That's a really scuff looking two inch gun back there. Don't think it's supposed to be like that. Let's grab a two triple. That looks a little better. Not great, but a little better. Uh, I think that's what the Admiral Hipper was. Could be wrong. Okay, maximum 6.7 inches of armor. Not great, but anti tor 4, triple hull bottom, and Citadel 4 gets that up to 7.8. That's almost a full inch, which is not much, but you can take into account the plus 130% uh, armor strength. That 1 inch equals 2.3 technically, or 2.2, since it's technically not a full inch. Inches of armor extra. Which is, could be pretty interesting. Uh, I think that's all I really need to look at this cruiser. Any new German light cruisers? Another heavy cruiser. 1917. Let's go back to 1917. Like when there's the German Empire, not Germany. Wait, oh, this is it? Uh, is this the one that I made the graph spay on? I'll do it again. Don't make me do it again. Where's the guns? Hey guys, look, it's the graph spay. Two tower. No, no, it's supposed to be six. For gore. Hey, for gore. Give me a second. It's the craft spay again. Maybe it had eight, eight inch. Oh, right. It was not 12, it was eight. Okay. It was four doubles, not four triples. All right, well, whatever. Anyways, craft spay is back, guys. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh, lovely. Why is this a heavy cruiser hole? I don't understand. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's make it even worse. You know what? We don't even need the gun in the front. We could just put it here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Graph Spay. <laughs> so great. We'll just put a little 5 inch gun up here. Now it looks like an AI design. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Actually, not enough torpedoes to be an AI design. Time to put torpedoes everywhere that is inconvenient for our guns. Where else is that? Not really anywhere. It's a good amount of torpedoes then. Get some underwaters. Here we go. Now it's an AI design, ladies and gentlemen. Fun. Uh, CLs. I don't think we have anything new. Oh, that's a really long light cruiser. Model doesn't change, it gets longer. 
Those trains were to get shorter. That's the main tower. Secondary tower don't fit. Don't fit. Does any of these fit? Well, where am I supposed to put the secondary tower if it doesn't even fit? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, so you have to adjust the beam just to get a single tower to fit. And when it doesn't fit. Alright, about. Okay, so it needs to be at least 2.8. Funnels, bam, bam. Funnel done. Main guns. I hate these models for 6 inch guns, but whatever. 6 inch, 6 inch, 6 inch. Actually, no, screw guns. AI likes torpedoes. Torpedo, torpedo. There we go. AI design, ladies and gentlemen. I did it again. I should move these up here. And more torpedoes. Actually, not a bad light cruiser. Supposedly. Okay. Uh, maximum armor. 4.1. Just kidding. It's actually 4.6. Cool. Was that it? Waterline Cruiser 2 in 35. Go back to 35. Uh, light cruiser. Nope, don't load. German modern light cruiser. Well, I feel like I just saw this, but smaller? Or longer, actually. That is a really long ship. Jeez. Is modern light cruiser 2? Yes, this is it. Maximum armor 4.1. Isn't that the same as the other ship? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, tower can't fit. Does fit. We've already seen that. And then we saw that too. Gun models, pretty much the same. Corvettes, nothing new that we haven't already seen. Torpedo launchers all look the same. Yeah, okay. Nothing really else besides that. Let's keep going down the list. I'll exit out of here. German light cruiser from 17 to 35. That's the German light cruiser 5. Uh, right there. So this hole sticks around from 1917 to 1935. Jeez. Wait a minute. That's an interesting tower. Okay, I thought this was elongated as well. I was like, hey, wait a minute. Pretty basic tower, couple secondary mountings I can see. Otherwise, nothing too special. Couple hyper funnels, love to see it. And the guns are pretty much the same. Fun. Okay, uh, maximum armor, 3.2, adjust that to this, and go from 3.2 to like 3.6, there we go. Okay, lovely. What else is there to find? German Scout Cruiser. I think, there it is. Pretty much same towers. Nothing too different. Couple more funnels. Uh, everything seems to be pretty much the same here. I think we've seen most of the new things already. I don't think there's a whole lot new to go over. Just mostly kind of checking out the kind of average maximum armor. 4.3. Mm, it's not bad. And great, right, but not bad. Okay. Uh, any more German ships? Scout Cruiser, Light Cruiser 5. Let's keep scrolling. That's it for Germany. Okay, who's next? So there's Germany done, Britain done. Austria, Hungary. I don't think they have very many, but we'll go through them anyway. Ooh. Ugh. First one is. Sorry, first one's 1935. It is. 
fast heavy cruiser so it is a heavy cruiser nope that's germany um heavy cruiser hulls okay so it should be a heavy cruiser called heavy scout cruiser yep this is it we've seen this model before so i think we're getting a lot of repeats that's definitely an interesting tower and that is ooh, that's a very short and cute version of the ginormous towers that the battleships get you kind of like that oh yeah compact modern tower that's kind of a little cute it's like it's trying to be a battleship but it's it's a small one and adorable don't have the accompanying uh Rear tower though, which would probably just be this but smaller. Which is kinda nice. Not a bad looking citadel. Not fantastic, but whatever, we're not looking for fantastic. No built-in barbet, so we'd have to get our own. Okay. Probably would shorten this up if I could. Grab one more of these, put it there. Okay. That's cool. Cool little, cute, cutesy little ship. Austro Hungarians. Oh, wait. Okay. I thought this was a light cruiser. I was like, 8.1 inches. Holy moly. And it's still pretty good. It's 35, uh, but I can get all of this. So 8.1 to 9.5 inches. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive amount of armor. Next Austro Hungarian is. The experimental heavy cruiser. Which is again just the destroyer looking hull that they made bigger and called a heavy cruiser. Really? How many do I need to make this? So this hull just doesn't fit. Just period. There's nowhere I can put this that it fits. Okay, so never use the large modifier tower two. Or sorry, three. Two works. Secondary tower. Great, we can put that up there if we want to form it offset, or if we don't want to put any guns up there. Can put any main towers down here? No, really? What if I did this? Still don't fit down there, but we get a tiny bit more space up in front. There we go. That looks weird and ugly and I love it. Uh, grab some 8 inch guns. Pop. 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 Oh, I hate how that looks. Absolutely terrible. Grab some torpedoes. Make the ship look even worse. Really? You can't? There you go. Uh, great forward offsets, obviously. This is a heavy cruiser, also in 35. I assume it's going to have less armor, but I could be wrong. 9.7 actually has more armor. This is the experimental heavy cruiser, has more than the scout cruiser. Oh, that makes sense actually. I assume the compact heavy cruiser is going to be no. Yeah, that's pretty much the same as the heavy scout cruiser, just shorter. A lot shorter, jeez. That's a short ship. How short can I make this? It doesn't get that much shorter. Uh, this is about the same size, I think, as the other one was. Or not exactly, but... Just throw quad 11s on here and call it a day. Never mind. I need a single little barbats. A small little bar bit. That fits. Surprising. I hate this ship, but it would be very funny to use something like this. Uh, cool. That's 8 11 inch guns. With a maximum armor of 5.3. That's terrible. Let's adjust that a little bit. 5.3 to 6.1. Not that much better. Not that much better at all. Uh, what other German ships do we have? The Heavy Cruiser. What, is it just called the Heavy Cruiser? That is a cute hull. It is a cute little hull. 
It is a cute little hole. I kind of like how I can just, yeah, put like a couple quads on here. Get this like little cutesy, little cutesy pocket battleship looking thing. Very cute. Uh, I already looked at the max armor, right? Yeah, okay. So the next one is the German heavy cruiser. That's all it's called. It's not, sorry, not German, Austro-Hungarian. So Austro-Hungarian experimental heavy cruiser. I looked at that. Uh, what else is there for Austro-Hungary? Not much. <laughs> they done my boy dirty. They didn't give him any, really? Three holes. They gave Austro-Hungary three holes. Semi-armored cruiser three. That's definitely a light cruiser. Light cruiser. I didn't see check what time period it was in. 1915. Actually, we won't even see it here. Because it only goes from 1915 to 1925. So let's just do 1920. Semi-armored cruiser three. This is it. Interesting. Reminds me of one of those French hulls. Crane tower definitely is interesting. Not a lot of space to put a funnel. Oh, you can put it. Okay, you can put it there. That, those boats are not solid. Good. That one is. But that's just something you're gonna have to deal with. Awesome. Put a barbette, or we could get a couple seven-inch guns. Seven, seven. That up there. Uh, seven. A good little barbette. Little wide small barbettes. There we go. Not a cool looking hole. A lot of secondary uh, casemates you can put on. Well, except that one has the weird glitch thing where it doesn't work. Dang it. Oh, nobody did it. Perfect. It's okay. Two inch guns fit anywhere? There. That's it. Okay. Free to launchers. Eh. Couple places next to the funnel. Okay. Secondary guns, three inch, where? Nowhere. Great. Two inch gun is I'm assuming where all the mountings are. When I say all of them, I mean the single. Single mounting. So is that is that that's not a mounting? Really? Huh. Okay. I thought that would be a mounting. Guess not. Same armor cruiser, 6.5 inches of armor. That's actually pretty good, especially even without this. 7.5 inches of armor on a light cruiser. That's two inches wide, which is definitely a little bigger than a normal rifle. Uh, 7.5 inches of armor, pretty good for the light cruiser. Let's continue no more for Austria hungary it's a very interesting light cruiser that they got that's three nations down let's look at the next one which is going to be the us i don't think they got very much but we can still go through it first one they get is a heavy cruiser in 1922 it's just called heavy cruiser 2 and okay so it seems like a lot of these are just going to be the destroyer looking hull that i really oh okay i was going to say these holes i hate them but then uh when you pull this out that ladder is i don't know if you guys can see that but that little ladder right there is hanging over the side anyone try to climb that ladder they just get, fall off you have to do something like this also get the smaller one very interesting towers that's for sure these are pretty tall oh that one has like cool little side things looks a little stretched the six inch guns fit in there for some reason i don't think i would use that though that looks weird more like a five inch gun it's a us hole anyways the five inch double barrel Okay, not bad. Uh, I guess I'll drag this back. 
put this one back oh please click there we go refit dreadnought tower four very interesting i like it i like the tower it's very tall i know a lot of people that play this game like really tall towers this is definitely one of those so this is really good spotting uh tower spotting it's okay it's okay main guns main guns look pretty good obviously it's an american oh, what is this heavy cruiser yeah american heavy cruiser quads look okay a little weird they look okay secondary tower pretty basic we've seen this before this is new that is definitely new oh that's definitely new too And that's just a smaller version of this, I think. Okay, what type of guns go up there? Really? You can't mount a single gun? Up okay, there we go, two ones. You do need to like manually rotate them so that it actually fits. Okay, so the ones back there won't even fit. Great. That's lovely. Okay, so no point using that secondary tower, really. I'll just get the rangefinder tower then. I'll even put it down here if I wanted. Put something up there. Funnels are definitely new. That's definitely a new funnel. Reduce the displacement a bit. Doesn't even get shorter. Right. Can't go down there. Okay. I could even put like a little barbet there. And just go in there. Cool. Uh, I like the superstructure a lot. I don't like the hull. Hopefully the others have those towers as well. Nope. I really like that tower, but if I can't get it, then it might not be worth it. Is this new as well? Hold on. So they have the US Heavy Cruiser 2. Any more US ships? I think that's it. I think I only saw one US ship the entire list. Nope, one more. Large Scout Cruiser. Is that this one? Nope. I'm assuming it's a light cruiser. Let's check it out. What if made the two inch guns smaller? Would they fit them? Oh yeah, you're true. Uh you're true. Okay, well we have the tower here. Let's grab the two inch guns. Two one, slap it down really quick, scroll all the way down. And then make them really small. Still doesn't feel like that, so I need to go this way, this way. The answer is no, they still don't fit. Because why would we want them to fit? Yes, why would I want this to work as intended? That's such a stupid thought. Oh, that's wrong. Keep clicking the wrong buttons to rotate. Uh. Did it again. Yeah, no, to answer your question, no, nothing, nothing's different. This makes them smaller. Not even a better turning circle, per se. They have the same turning circle even as the 2.9 inch gun, so. Not really worth it. Not really. 3 inch guns don't fit. Fun. Uh, so this is the Large Scout Cruiser, which is the other it's an omaha class 1917 main towers oh here we go now we get the cool new tower i do like that a lot funnels interesting funnels They're nice and compact fits well together i think get a couple barbettes we only get doubles with this ship. Oh, it's like Cruiser, right? Couple seven inches on here. Can't put it down there though. Maybe five inch gun? Yep. Thanks for checking. You're welcome. You are welcome. Uh, what else can I put on here? Nothing. They're all blocked by the boats. Awesome. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Torpedoes. Yeah, a couple spots. A couple spots. Not many. Oh, a couple. Okay. Okay, looking ship. Nothing too bad. 
this amount of guns and torpedoes that looks more like an AI design if anything uh, maximum 4.8 inches plus turtle back and triple hull 5.4 inches eh, that's not bad it's almost the original max is there any other US ships that I need to check no they only added two I guess that's fair. They did have a big update where they added mostly US ships, so it's fair that they're doing the other nations now. And why Britain? Britain always has so many holes. Uh, let's get out of here. Next one is French. Frenchies. Probably can't do it like that. There we go. Frenchies. Navy cruiser. And 1922. Perfect. So it's just called the Heavy Cruiser 1, but I guess, yeah, all these Heavy Cruisers are mostly just like this. Got this tower, doesn't even fit, so you have to increase the beam. Fun. Always love that. So the secondary guns look cool. Oh, hey, wait a minute. That four-inch gun looks sick. I like how the four-inch gun looks. Not there. And then maybe not there either. What did the main guns look like? Okay, 10 inch does not fit, good to know. 8 inch kind of fits. One more back here, secondary tower, that's... Doesn't really fit there. Let's throw this right there. Funnels, pretty basic. Pretty basic. I do like that four-inch gun though. F the four-inch gun looks pretty dope. Not very French, but it does look pretty dope. I like how they look. I do like it. Okay. Uh, that's that. This is a heavy cruiser. You guys get maximum armor of about. Let's check. Can't even do four or sorry five. About 7.8. It's not bad. Not bad. Nothing too bad. A couple, couple three inch guns right there. Okay. That's that French ship. Next one is. Armored Cruiser 5. 1725. Here it is. Another very French looking ship, which is. Kind of funny because this is the French. Those right there, that looks like a pretty standard main tower, actually. I think I've seen those before. Secondary towers, I think I've seen those before too. Could be different, could be the same. Interesting funnel. Those boats look a little modern, actually. They're not just rowboats, they're actually boats. Those are actual tiny little ships. Uh, let's just grab a couple 10 inch guns, put them there. Oh, never mind, apparently the 10 inch guns don't fit on this. So why would they want to? Oh, I hate how the 8 inch guns look. They are nasty. They look really French, but they look nasty. They look old, old fashioned. I like these cool little 4 inch guns. Really? They don't even fit there? What's the point of that little outcropping? If nothing fits in there, can I even put a two inch gun in there? Great. I can put a little two inch gun there. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. Fun, 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 fun. Fun, 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 fun. Uh, okay. I think probably same d deal with the casemates where can't do that. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. We get a battle going? Uh, soon. You guys will get a battle soon. I think I'm pretty much nearly done. Most of the holes were German and British. So I'm just going over the last couple. Not very many French ships to go over anyways. French Light Cruiser 5. Bop, bop, bop. Well, this is pretty similar. You guys have all seen this before. Uh, new towers, that's new. Any gun mounts for anything? No. And 
Please. No. Great. Oh, wait. You've got a bunch of two inch one or singles. I don't know why you would want to do that, but I mean, it's kind of funny to look at. Suddenly they all will be firing in uh, 3.5 seconds without being modified at all. Tainer Towers, that's definitely... Nope, seen that before. Maybe we've seen these before. Probably seen that before. That's pretty basic. That might be new. Uh, funnels, short enhanced funnel, that might be new as well. Guns again look the same, except for the 4 inch gun, that's kind of nice. Maximum armor 3.3, but we can get up to a whole 3.7. Fun! What else is there besides the light cruiser 5? Is that 8 for the French? One last one. The cruiser, or some armor cruiser 5, which is right here. And again, this is just a smaller hull of the heavy cruiser we just looked at. Anything will fit. That'll fit. There we go. Uh, yeah. Just throw a couple six inch guns. The anchor points are a little weird, definitely. Casemates are again pretty much just pretty basic. And maximum armor. 6.4. Wow. I, what? Seriously? Light cruiser? Dang. Alright, 6.4 inches of armor. That's pretty good. Pretty good. French, you've done pretty good. Uh, I don't think we have many ships left. How small can you make this hole? Ooh, uh, I don't know which one you were talking about. This one? Not that small. Unless you were talking about the heavy cruiser. Which, same thing, doesn't get that small. Throw a little funnel on here. Not that small. I mean, it's kind of small, but not that small. Uh, I didn't really ever check out the maximum armor. Actually, that's pretty good maximum armor. Dang. French is with the 9.8 maximum. Uh, I guess I, I wasn't really counting beam and drafts, which does make it pretty small, actually. It's not bad. Uh, let's go to this one. See how small this one goes. Uh, 5,000. Yeah, okay. Pretty small. Uh, unless you were talking about something else. So I think you were talking about one of those two. I think. Unless you were talking about the other heavy cruiser. Hold on. You're talking about... Was it the semi-armor? No, this one. We've been talking about this. The cutesy little hole. Goes down to about 7,000. So not that small, actually. Not that small. Well, then nothing really fits on it. Uh, besides that... A couple of those. Some 5-inch... Wow, those are really... That's a really short barrel. I, at least it seems very short barrel to me. The 4-inch gun back here. Yeah, that's kind of short. Not super compact like the other ones were because the uh, tower's a little weird. Still, still a little cutesy though. And that's it for the French. They covered them. Okay, perfect. So German, British, Austro-Hungarian, US, French. We have Japanese. No, Russian. Sorry. So we don't have many left because most of them again were British, and the other most common was the Germans. So we have Russia. Uh, Russian experimental heavy cruiser in 1917 so i assume we can get it in 22. okay well here we go <laughs> this hull again seems a little longer actually yeah 
This one's a little longer to start out with. Throw that all on there. Main guns. Let's just get some eight quads in here. Okay. The resistance should be pretty good because it's Russian. 75. Okay, maybe not that good. Maybe not that good. Even with uh, 4, 4, and 3. No, 10 inches actually. No, it's still, it's still pretty good. Best armor I've seen so far on a heavy cruiser. That actually could be incorrect. I think I saw 11 inches on something else. Uh, okay. Well, we've seen this hull before. Those are the towers. I don't think there's anything in it besides that. There's a rigger deck. That's the same thing. Okay. So besides that... I don't think there's any more Russian. Okay, there's a light cruiser. Four... I already lost it. Where'd it go? 1917. Just called the light cruiser five. Well, here we go again. Oh, we love this hull. So, so much. I think that's a tower we've already had. Could be wrong though. And then seen that before. That might be new. That might also be new. Funnels just about the same. Uh, that's right, we got the little square guns. I think those are pretty, pretty basic. Secondary guns are the same. Doesn't seem like anything here has changed too much. Seems like we're gonna have a lot of repeat hulls. 3.9 inches of armor max. Eh, not bad, not good. Anything else for the Russians besides the light cruiser? That might be for the Russians. Yeah, that's it for the Russians. Okay, I'm glad they get so much love. Then again, I don't blame because I believe I believe some of the modelers are in Ukraine, so I don't blame them for not doing too many Russian ships. There's German, that's Britain, Austria-Hungaria, that's US, France, uh, Russia, Japanese. Where is the Japanese? Here we go. They don't have very many ships either. So they have experimental heavy cruiser. This is experimental torpedo cruiser. Did, I, did they misname it? Oh, it's light cruiser. Okay, experimental heavy cruiser, here it is. Interesting, pretty basic hull. Refit tower, I don't know why it's called a refit tower. Not a bad looking tower. So this is one red tower, pretty much the same thing. Funnels, pretty basic. Very compact way of keeping your ship. This is a heavy cruiser. Throw on a couple eights, pop up. Nothing too new, it seems. And then maximum armor, 5.7, unless you go for a little bit more resistance, at which point it is 6.6. .6. Not the greatest, not terrible. Supposedly it does 34 knots though, which is not bad. Then we have the Japanese What's next? Light Cruiser 4? Yes. Light Cruiser 4. Japanese Light Cruiser 4. I think the Experimental Torpedo Cruiser is also new. Could be wrong. The towers have me convinced that it is new because I don't think I've seen this before. Eh, I might have seen that before. Maybe I have seen those before. And then, yeah, these are all pretty basic. Maybe I have seen this one before then. Uh, only double barrel. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to the Light Cruiser 4. Probably going to be one we've seen already. No, this is new. I don't think I've seen a hole like this before. That's uh, definitely a new tower. It's the refit tower. The rear tower looks pretty basic. Throw a couple gun foreign guns or main guns in here? Oh yeah, it's a light cruiser. 
So I got guns, pretty basic, torpedoes. Maximum armor, probably just gonna be around, I don't even know. 3.9, okay. Okay, not great armor. And then I don't think there's any more Japanese ships. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we're going these through these pretty quickly now. Chinese. We went past the Chinese at some point. There it is. Experimental heavy cruiser. Oh, whoopsie. Experimental heavy cruiser. Here it is. Oh, that's new. Haven't seen one of these before. I've seen these towers before, though. They seem a little stretched, but that's okay. We've seen that before. And we've seen this before. It's kind of cool in here, especially if we throw some funnels in. Yeah, that's that's nice, actually. I like that side profile. I like it. Let's see if I can find some guns that look pretty good in here, too. Some aids. Aids look pretty cool. You know, I'm feeling this tower, though. Unfortunate. Maybe we'll try sevens, then. Instead of eights up here, we'll try some sevens. Guns are less big. Still looks pretty okay, though. Still looks pretty okay. Uh, models are pretty much the same. Maximum armor, five inches. It's a heavy cruiser. That's not great. But we can get it up to like what six? No, five seven. Okay. Next up for the Chinese. Probably not very much. A compact heavy cruiser. Uh, here it is. Just this hole again. I've seen it before. Mini towers. Not really. Yeah, it's all pretty similar. Very cutesy though. How small these come. Definitely like the compactness of them. Armor wise, they don't do so good though. I'm assuming even with this, it's gonna be like, not even like six. Yeah, barely six. And then for China, besides that, I don't think very much. Like cruiser five. Like cruiser five, here it is. Pretty much the same hull we've already seen. I, did I already make something with this? No, it was a heavy cruiser version, I think. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you get the point. Pretty much the same exact thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I've uh, already seen that. I'll just check what the maximum armor is. 2.7, not great. Uh, China. Last one has a scout cruiser. So, small scout cruiser? Or is it just the scout cruiser? No, it's a small scout cruiser. Okay. Okay. Um, destroyer looking towers. Yeah, so this is kind of like a just big destroyer. Okay. Let's get any smaller than this. A little bit. Maximum armor doesn't go very much. Yeah, okay. So that was the Chinese. Not many more after that. We have Spanish, like a couple for Spain. So we're going to be mostly cruisers. Spanish get an experimental heavy cruiser. Here it is. Again, just this tower. Getting a little bored of it. I've seen it so many times. How many good towers you can put on this thing? That looks kind of cool, actually. This is a heavy cruiser. Let's throw some sevens on here. Seven, 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 seven. Are you not? Really? Okay, not sevens then. Sixes. How about that? There. 
there. Six, six, and six. There we go. Got a funnel in here. Not a bad looking ship. Pretty compact. I like that. Maximal armor. Does not look great though. Not great at all. 5.4. Yeah, not great armor. Next up for the Spanish, we have. Oh, not much. Light Cruiser 4. Here it is. Yep, we've seen this before. Is this new? Nope. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. That's a really big barbette slot for such a small gun. There we go. That looks a little better. Really? So I'm just going to fit there? Oh, fits right there. Okay. Okay. Doesn't look terrible. Uh, maximum armor for this ship 2.9 plus a little bit of resistance as a whole 3.3 inches. The light cruiser, eh, not great. Next up for the Chinese. Am I forgetting anything? Sorry, not Chinese, the Spanish. They have a semi armor cruiser 4 and a small scout cruiser, but we've already seen those just on the different nations. Let's skip them because I'm getting a little bored of seeing the same ship over and over again. Russian, French, Japanese, German. That would actually be all of them. Okay. <laughs> that was so fun. Uh, with the huge amount of concurrent viewers I have still, let's do some custom battles. So first of all, let's get that, where is it? The hybrid battleship for Germany. Hybrid battleship, and that is 1935. I guess versus a British, let's make it a British heavy cruiser. That'll be one of the new ones, hopefully. Make it two of them. So then let's go into 27,000 meters, should be fine. Here is the Scharnhorst S type uh, battle cruiser. And then for the British, they will have this little ship. Either this one or well, one of the new ones. I believe this is the new one. So you guys just auto design something really quick for me. Supposedly they fixed it to be faster. Doesn't seem to be much faster. Bring the Germans. Will do. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's done. This will be the ship I'm fighting. That is a lot of 6.1 inch guns. Not a bad forward offset. Really good engine efficiency. Not a bad amount of guns. Not a great placement of them, but not terrible. Ooh, that. Wow, that gun really does not fire anywhere. Well, I won't have to worry about that back one then. 360 turret in the front. Okay, not that able. Were they trying to be the same price as me? No, definitely not. I'm gonna give myself just 50 Kree then. So the Scharnhorst, probably should rename it. Wait, how do I spell it again? Oh no, <laughs> I know, I forgot. Hold on, let me scroll back up the chat. Okay, I think I spell Built in mostly correctly. There we go. A monster. Yep, that ship was a monster. I just realized this has got a huge forward offset. I said it's such a big forward offset. It looks like right in the middle. Is this main tower really that long? Let's move this back a bit then. There, have I fixed it yet? 
Yeah, fixed it enough. Okay, Scharnhorst. I don't know if it's supposed to be this big. I should actually probably design a real ship instead of just leaving all of this to be basic. Uh, let's get some good steering. Let's keep it semi-balanced. Get some good shaft in here. Make our armor quality a little better. Let's get double. Anti-tarp 3. Anti-barbat 3. If we flash fire, we flash fire. Let's get turtle back to flood 2. Reinforce bulkheads uh, 1. Standard. Standard. I want semi-auto and electro hunter 1. Gen 2 radar, advanced radio, sonar 2, and stereoscope. Stereoscope? No coincidence. 40.1. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Just, I don't know, random number 7.5, 7 7.5, 7 7.5. Uh, let's do, let's do 3.6. Nope. 3.6. 3.6. Twenty three is a little bit much. Let's just get a seventeen here. That can stay the same. That can stay the same. I don't really care. Uh, keep that all the same. Just pretty, pretty basic, you know. Pretty basic. Let's get some standard quarters. Speed definitely can go a little better. Thirty one. We'll just do like thirty. Thirty knots should be fine. Maximum quarters. Make the ship smaller if we can. Eh, it's a little too small. Or is it? Oh, yeah, that's definitely got a little too small. Can I go a little bigger, please? There we go. That's all good again. Repeater launchers, not a whole lot of place to put them. Okay, that's probably good enough. We just get an Ox 5. What else takes space that I can just slap on here? How much flash fire chance do I have? 25. Oh my goodness. Maybe a little bit less flash fire chance than. Oh, I forgot to modify this. No wonder. And now my flash fire chance is pretty much gone. Alright, let's launch. Let's see how this hybrid battleship does. I did not min max, but it should still be pretty good. Supposedly. Horst only has a range of 22 kilometers with AP. These lovely fellows probably won't be able to shoot very far either. Are they retreating? You better not be retreating. You close within 20 kilometers. I believe that's why we slow down to 5 times speed. We have open fire. We are definitely within 20 kilometers. I'll turn this on. I don't know if it's any better looking. If anything, it actually kind of makes it look worse. I don't know. We'll turn it on. Just makes the screen pink. It's supposed to be a reshader mod. I don't know if it actually works, though. Let's see how it looks. This is how the ship looks normally. And with the shader. I don't know if it makes it look any better. You guys tell me. Charn Horse does look nice though, basic but nice indeed. Yes it does, I would definitely agree with you on that. Does look pretty nice, pretty nice, it's a little basic ship, but it still looks nice. We already got some good hits, I think we're gonna open up with all of our guns then. Cause we don't need a close in, close in fights are for people who like, who like to see ships fight at close range. Yeah, if we have this that good accuracy and yeah let's just open up all of our guns how fast do these ships go i haven't even identified them yet i think we go faster than them now but it could just be the fact that they're sinking we were definitely getting lit up A little loud. Hold on a second. I might have to turn that down a little bit. Normally, I'll just edit it. But, uh, in a live stream, I can't really turn down the volume. 
Yeah, they had 28.1 inch or not the speed, so. Okay. Not sure how I feel about the shader, but that was a little little custom battle. Uh not too much was changed really about anything in game, mostly just like different holes to design different ships with. That was the only capital ship that we have to actually make. Everything else is a cruiser. Hmm, I don't really want to design a bajillion cruisers. Uh, let's... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be French now. We're going to make the enemy Germany. And I'll have them have the battle cruiser. And I will have the heavy cruiser. Yeah, if we have a heavy cruiser, one... We have, what else is there? You know, I should just be Britain. Because Britain has way more cruisers. Way more everything. Looks a lot better without the mod. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about this mod. Not too great. I think we'll look at the British heavy cruisers. Give myself like three. Uh, Maybe a little closer start this. No, no, same, same, same range. Like a... 30 kilometers actually. Okay, I don't want this. Definitely do not want this. The British, that is. That was all. This is new. This is new. This is new. And this is not new. I don't think this is new. We can choose Modern Heavy Cruiser 1, Compact Heavy Cruiser, or Heavy Cruiser 2. Let's see what the AI designs us. I just realized it's going to take forever. Oh, it doesn't look terrible. If they're actually going to keep it like that and not change it. Oh, they changed it. Still doesn't look terrible. I'm surprised that shoots over that. Hmm. That's probably fine. Veterans, wow, okay. Uh I will put these back down to regular. 32 knots. Yeah, that works. Instead of this much range, what I'll probably do is I will what are these 6.4s? I'll just change these to uh probably quads. There we go. For quads. I would like to put one up front, but I guess that's not going to happen. I can put a little two inch guns on the uh on the funnel. That's cool. Also two funnels? That might be a little bit too many. Uh ba -ba -ba, flash fire chance, zero percent. Fantastic. Standard torpedoes, electrics. Oh that'll be okay. I don't really want to design a whole ship by myself. It's gonna take forever. Let's make a new ship. Same hull, but auto designs. All right, AI, what do you have for me? Oh boy, taking a while to load. That's a very interesting design. I don't know why they gone so far forward. It'd be funny if they landed on this design. Oh my, they actually landed on this design. Well, the long range guns are very interesting. The, uh... I don't know if that's quite necessary. I, th I think, um... You still somehow have an alpha off. How... But it's... how do you... I don't understand. Alright, well I guess we're fighting this ship. This looks like it should be a 360 turret, but it's not. Okay. 
let's uh fight this i didn't check the crew training so they actually might have a really good crew training And times speed, oh my good, we're vibrating. They're already opening up because they have super long range. We do not have good long range. We actually might get obliterated. Accelerate. This might take a while to get to them. And they're going broadside, very smart. Firing all our guns. I actually can't fire this back gun now because they turned a tiny bit. Oh, no, never mind. They can fire still. Partial pens. Not great. Can we even reach this ship? I forgot what their speed was. Or how fast they're moving compared to how fast I'm moving makes me think they have more speed. Luckily, they're closing the distance. Will it be fast enough, though? Is that I need to close this as fast as possible. Our torpedoes are our greatest strength, since we have so many of them. Oh, don't hit me. Are we within range yet? Now we're getting there, though. I get on intercept course. They were hiding away, but now they're coming back. We haven't taken any serious hits yet. We seem to be coming within range though. What? What? What is this? Are you really trying to? Okay. Okay, we're gonna try and cross it, cross across the bow of the ship. I don't know what it is yet. Uh oh, all right. Well, they're firing HG, so they won't actually do too much in terms of damage. They do seem to have more speed than me, though. Okay, well, now you guys can fire your torpedoes if you so wish. Did you seriously fire it straight forward? Oh, for crying out loud! And that one detonated. Might be losing this battle. Uh, the Orlando is not doing fantastic. Considering most of our guns are on the back of our ships, this is not great. Oh, they're turning. Oh, they took a torpedo. This would be a good time to fire a torpedo if you wanted to. Actually, not that they are running away. Why are you not firing your guns? Why are you not firing? Fire your main guns, please. Sir? Your main guns? Cornwall? Oh boy. Cornwall! Fire your main guns! Why are none of you firing your main guns? Why are none of you firing? They're not firing their main guns. Why? Why? Do I have to cut across the bow or something again? Are they stuck? No, they're not stuck. They're just not firing. Oh, uh, why not? That's it. We're going for a ramp. Come here. Come here. I'm not done with you. Come back over here i may not have any main guns because my because my gunners are troglodytes but i will get you i will still sink you come back here kind of nice cool shot actually lovely i paused it i meant to take a screenshot that works too our torpedoes that's lovely oh now my main guns are firing now that we're within one and a half kilometers okay that's fun they're actually going to lose on crew, I think.
the moment we have good accuracy, my guns stop firing. I'm gonna start turning, they'll fire again though. Might win this on crew loss, don't know. My main guns would actually keep firing, that'd be great. They just not keep up with the speed that the ship is turning? Don't make me fire torpedoes into you point blank range. So I'll do it. I will do it. Now they can't decide who's the more injured one. Apparently Orlando is less injured despite flooding. This could just burn him down this extra 0.3%, come on. Come on, we're at 45, okay. Wow. Carmel crew <laughs> is on strike. I'm gonna pay more money. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Wow. Okay. I forgot bugs like that existed, but they do. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. I've already been doing this for two and a half hours. Jeez. Oh boy. That was like, what, two battles? Maybe we'll do one more battle. Um. I think the Chinese had an interesting ship. The Chinese and the Spanish Let's have that. What do they have? Heavy cruiser, uh, light cruiser, and then light cruiser, sky cruiser. Okay, uh, let's try a heavy cruiser, two lights, see what it looks like. Is the Chinese, let's see, they got the small scout cruiser as well as the semi armor cruiser, and I think one more. Yeah, like cruiser five. What the heck is a gun cruiser? I think we already had this because I don't see anything called gun cruiser here. Hmm. So there's the compact light cruiser, and there's the light cruiser five. Light cruiser 5 I don't think I've seen, neither have I seen the compact light cruiser. And then the enemy gets the... I believe experimental heavy cruiser? Oh yeah, this thing. Or the compact heavy cruiser. Which is this. I think I'm gonna have them do something with the experimental heavy cruiser. That doesn't look like a bad ship, hopefully they don't scrap it and make a worse one. Okay. What do you mean you cannot build select a ship of that type? What do you mean you cannot build? What is that supposed to mean? Hmm? What is that supposed to mean? Cannot build. Okay, let's auto design something for us then. You're out for today. Nice introduction. All right, I'll see you later, Marius. See you later. That long. All right, light cruiser's not bad. Not good, but not bad. Let's just launch. Let's see if the other ship actually launches as well. This is taking a second and a second to load. Jeez. I might have to stop the stream just because my, my game is lagging so much. It's like a three ship combat, man. It does not take that long to load.
And this will be the last fight I do. Yeah, last fight. And then I'll probably end the stream. Looking at all those holes was not as entertaining as I thought it would be. But this is one of the first streams I will do. Hopefully I will work out all the kinks. I want to work out all the kinks because I will be streaming again. Is a heavy cruiser? It's a little cute heavy cruiser actually. I don't know if this is the same one they built. It looks different. Yeah, I don't this is not the this is not the heavy cruiser. Okay, well whatever, we'll play with it anyway. I don't want to go through the effort of trying to get it to work. So they spotted us. And wait for their guns to turn in my direction. Because they have 8.6 inch guns, which looks like long barrels. So, yep, there they go. At about... 15-ish kilometers, I think. 17, actually. It was 18 kilometers, I think, they opened up. How are they hitting us? Impossible! Well, I guess we need to smoke up, jeez. It seems to be a very fast ship. I just realized these light cruisers are not very fast. We are finally opening up. We have most of our guns either in midships or in the back. How are the campaign load times like in the new beta? I will find out in a second. As soon as my ships are absolutely destroyed by this heavy cruiser. Okay, you detach. Just don't turn. Okay, you want to keep going. I don't even care. You need to get away from that torpedo. Which actually might hit you if you don't go fast. Go fast! I believe in you. You went fast. You are going to get hit by it though. Okay, you go home. Or, or die. Or, and you die too. Okay. Well, time to figure out how fast that campaign loads. <laughs> Talking about loading times and all that chance. Alright. Uh, let's get out of there. I don't even know if my campaign saves were saved. I'm hoping they were. But if not, I will be very sad. The amount of time taken to load tells me that they did save though. Nope, they're all dead. Okay, well, no more British campaign, no more Austro Hungarian campaign, and what was the other one I had? German campaign, I think? I forgot. Let's make a new campaign to see if they fixed it. Uh, what new campaign would I want to start? Uh, do I want to. No, I've done a British one, I haven't done a French one yet. I had the German one for the Patreon. Uh, maybe I'll do a US. I feel like everyone does US though. I had a Russian one, which was kind of fun, but I did that for a long time. Longest series I've done. Italians wasn't super fun. Austro-Hungarians I was doing. Japanese, I could do Japanese. I used to play Japanese a lot, but I played them so much I got kind of bored of them. I want to do one with all the new holes, which is either British or Germany. Maybe it's time for the German campaign to come back. Oh, the Spanish campaign is also gone. <laughs> okay. Um... No beta? I don't really know what that means. Maybe if I load the not beta, it'll load my campaigns again. Maybe not. Green Dynasty. I could do Chinese campaign. I don't know if I want to, though. Okay, let's, let's choose right now. Chinese Empire. Uh, Japanese Empire or U.S. No, German. I don't want to. I don't want to play U.S. U.S. is meh. I don't know. U.S. is it's too easy. Uh, probably not Germany, France. Nah. Do I want to play France? I can have fun campaigns. No. I mean Chinese or Japanese. 
Uh, let me flip a coin. Do I have, have a coin? No, I have a dice though. All right. Even is Japan and odd is Chinese. Oh, dropped it. Okay, I landed on the side. Let me roll again. Okay, so that is... Which one is that? I forgot. Wait, I said this one was even. This one was odd. Okay, so it's an eight. So Japanese! Okay, I will be playing Japanese campaign. Lovely. Japanese campaign. Uh, I don't want to do legendary difficulty because that's just going to give the AI a bajillion ships that I don't want to sink. Probably not 1890. It would give me a chance to go to war with Russia, which is kind of historical, but I don't want to do. Don't, do I want to do 1890? I don't know if I want to do 1890. There's the Chinese Empire, so I need to go to war with the Chinese Empire. Russian Empire. Hmm. Okay, so maybe a 1900 Japanese campaign. And then that way I can take on the Russians. I think historical opponents is good. Not. Do I want to do auto generated? Hmm. I think let's keep. I want this on? I don't have really anything. I'll keep it on, but I don't have any AI show designs. I'll probably create my own fleet. Okay, let's see how long the loading takes. Let's make it number one. See how long it takes. Seems like it's taken a while. Seems like the loading times have, uh... <laughs> Glad to see some things will never change, Yulari, yeah, yeah. Glad to see it. This is fun and probably going to take forever. Ah, uh, what can I do in the meanwhile? I don't know, I guess I can check if Premiere is finally got my license back so I can start producing videos again. Probably not, but oh well.
Well, we've got into April. Ugh, oh, fun. Let me check this out there, because I could have sworn they said that the loading times were reduced. Faster campaign loading. Really? Really? Uh, and by faster, you mean uh, faster to make me impatient? Uh, I would say you're correct. Because right now, this is not really faster. This is actually slower than my normal. When do you think the beta will be released? But the beta is already released. Um, when the actual version of 1.4 is released, probably. I don't know. I get. I want. I'm hoping it's going to be like more than a couple months. But knowing them, it's going to be probably less than a month. They're going to speed run. You're not checked up on it. Yeah. Well, if you want your campaign saves to stick around, then uh, don't don't update it. As it will delete your campaigns. It's not even, it's not even five min. Oh, usually it doesn't take more than like, I would say the longest one I've ever had was like six minutes. Like, my campaigns usually load pretty fast. This is, um, impressively slow. Like, I don't think I've ever had something this slow. When it would become proper version. Yeah, well, knowing the Dreadnoughts, uh, developers, they'll probably rush out a ton of updates to the beta all within like a month and then like release it the next month fully even though it won't be fully released i love all these like little things in the updates the opt optimizations in ui faster campaign loading yeah sure better combat performance yeah those guns on the cornwall were definitely saying better combat performance to me two tips no longer can obstruct that is true though i do like that I, uh, I like the tooltips no longer just show up. A new armor penetration data tool? Interesting. Configures the armor quality in the gun penetration data. Set it from default 0% up to 200% in order to help you understand the apply penetration of guns in the game. Set this in the tool general settings at any time during gameplay. It was. Add a new setting which configures the armor quality in gun penetration data. Ship visuals and hands, auto decor of ships, boats, guns, doors, and deck objects. Now rendered more effectively, makes ships better visually. Yeah, I'm thinking all these visual updates they've done have made my shaders completely just kaputs. They no longer do anything to make the game look good. other things have they done check the chat yeah usually it is screen between designer and world map that is slowish for me oh the screen okay oh oh we're done oh holy moly okay that was quick uh and by quick i mean not at all really some nice changes like the loading <laughs> yeah Okay, and I, yeah, we're not even on. Yeah, I'm on high. Supposedly there's a new setting. Oh, I, I can remap. Oh, okay. Pause become pause becomes P or not not P space. Screenshot becomes F1. F11 is really annoying. 
Or should I make it like tab? Because I don't think tab does anything. Just want to. Can I pick a tab? Yes, I can. Help. I don't need that button. Camera up and down. Never use that. Draw. What? Oh, okay. I get it. And then rotate, rotate camera, and sensitivity. Okay. General armor quality and penetration data. I don't know what this button does. Let me look at it again. It says it's not letting me scroll. I think Steam crashed. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100%. I don't know what that's going to do. We'll see. Okay. Let's start the campaign. Fleet creation. We are the Japanese. Time to create the... What was that one ship stealth made? Like the one with like the secondaries were all actual main guns. Let's design some ships. Let us design some ships. They did not add stability to the beta it seems. Yeah, that's for sure. That is for sure. Uh, we get semi dreadnoughts. I want small semi dreadnoughts. I think so. This time period is more about producing a number of ships rather than good ships. Let's just see what I can build really quick. Mark two. Mark two, mark two, mark two, mark three. Okay, mark three nines. Grab a couple of those, grab some side, oh, some side guns. Grab a nine right here and there. Okay, decent amount of guns. I could get secondaries though. I guess, yeah, instead of this, what I could do, I could make a more conventional ship. I know, it's such a weird term to use in this game. Like a couple 11 inch guns. And then instead of these, these are, oh, they're all smart twos though. Lay, fine, I'll make them uh, side nines. There we go. Now we have 9s and 11s. Pretty good, pretty good. And your voice is back. Yeah, my voice is back. Did it disappear? I don't know if it disappeared. Uh, case maze. Couple 3 inch guns. Deal with some destroyers. Torpedoes. Always put torpedoes on ships. Before 1910, your ships will generally get close enough to fire the torpedoes and actually do damage. This ship does a whole 18.2 inch knots. Engine efficiency is not great, but we can go up to induced. We could also just do this instead. Might do that instead. Unbalanced is best. Harvey armor. I think that's... Oh, it actually does reduce now. Because remember, like, if you would go from iron plate to, like, compound, it would go from, like, 77 to, like, 104% taken up. Now they reduce that. Nice. Put on all the anti-torpedo. Don't want my battleship sinking to a single torpedo that a torpedo boat fired. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I just like to stick with standard base views. Do I want to do Picard Acid? Flash fire chance with black powder, 25.6, 26.9, and 36. Jeez. Let's keep low flash fire chance. That's battle state. Uh, get the light shells. Fast torpedo, 17 inch, enhanced reloading. This increases flash fire chance, so let's just do it as hydraulic. Reduce torpedoes, and a coincidence rangefinder. Maximum armor. It's only 13.5 inches. The standard crew quarter. Range is not great. I want to increase range a little bit. I mean, we don't have to go very far, I guess. 
I always reduce bulkheads. I know people hate that, but that's unfortunate for the people. I suppose we have any work for like a three inch gun. A couple places. Not very many places. Pretty big forward offsets. Definitely want to reduce that as much as possible. There we go. Ship doesn't look as good, but forward offset is a big, big detriment to accuracy. And then half of 13, let's just put like 7.2, 7.2, and then half of that is like, what, 3.6? Half of that is 1.7, I think. And then just 19 more forward conning, that's okay. Is max armor too much in this thing? Like a 1.7 on here. And I guess maybe a 7.2. We definitely don't want to flash fire though, so maybe this is good. Because I think we had what 10 10 10 2? What about just 10 10 2? Uh we can have 10 10 2 on this as well. And then just I guess 5 2? 4 2. Okay, reduce the length of the guns. Forward offset is again getting really bad. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Hmm. So currently we have a 36 caliber. Can I get down to a 35? It shows me right there. Do we have the glitch? Gosh dang it. There we go. 84 percent. I think what I'll do instead of moving the guns is I'll make this induced. Remove the second one. So that way I can have an actual decently looking ship. Okay. Not bad. Not the bad. I think uh, same negative four for the nines. And not quite. I want them to be 35 cal. I'm gonna increase this caliber a little bit. 7% works, I guess. I'm increasing this makes it 29. Or 32, whatever. Okay. That's probably good enough. Next up, let's make a heavy cruiser. You know, armor cruiser four, armor cruiser three. And that's just about it. Can only go up to 12,000 tons. How many funnels do I need to get decent engine efficiency? Because I know that's always a problem. Three, does that work with this one? I get the triple. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. I guess you can also induce it if you really want to. That way you can make it smaller. Throw on a main tower, throw on a secondary tower right there. Uh, center line guns, you're a Mark II, you're a Mark II, Mark II, Mark III. We're definitely going to use the Mark III. Okay, well, now we've got a little bit of a forward offset. Can't put this down here anymore, can I? Nope. Fun. Uh, let's get the casemates on five inch guns. All the casemates, so many casemates. Torpedoes and everything. Secondary guns. Can I even get any good secondary guns? Yes, I can. That's just about all I can do, though. 
I have to reduce the main tower. If I can't put this one down here. Can't put any of them down there. Never mind. Deal with that later. This ship does a grand total of 21.5 knots. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All the steering, unbalanced rudder, double, anti torp, citadel, anti flood, bulkheads, Harvey, Barbet 2, standard base fuse, uh, velstite, light shells, standard, standard, 17, fast, uh, enhanced, not electrical, advanced, and we keep it standard, in coincidence. This goes to a maximum of 7.9 inches of armor. Half that to like 3.8? Yeah, like 3.8. Then half that to 1.4. Then half that to 0.7. 0 0.7 and 0.7. Just max that out. Uh, 10, 10. Oops. Ten ten. Ten ten one works. And then just yeah, that works too, I guess. Reduce length by how much? By the forty caliber. Thirty-five cal. Oh they'll fire pretty quick. They're quick. The ten kilometer range under thirty second reload, that's pretty good. Uh, let's make these as long as possible, and the fives can go to like a negative five. So the five inch guns have a range of six and a half. These have a range of a little bit more. Um, there we go. That's the same range. Forward offset is not fantastic. I don't suppose I could. Delete this and go side nines. I can, but they don't really fit. Beam though. A little bit extra beam. Let's try 5% beam. Still not good. 10% beam. Still no good. It'd have to be like 8 inch. Forward offset is still really bad, jeez. Not really sure how to deal with that besides just making this a 360 to 360 turrets. i pull this all the way back. Okay, what if I delete this? Get this. This should help a little bit. Engine efficiency isn't great. Now I can drag this back. There we go. That's a pretty accurate ship now. Okay. That ship done. Probably should have added some more. I don't know what I would have added though. Oh well. Looking good, Sally. It's time for me to take a nap. Good luck with the stream. Seeing you around. Okay. See you around, Yulari. See you around. It's an armored cruiser. We just spam these out at only 3,000. Well, this is 10,000, 13,000. So these are going to be a lot smaller. Still battle worthy though. 20.5 knots. These do 23. We'll make those like their scout cruisers. How much resistance do these have? 25 and 20. Okay. So these are my battle light cruisers. You can actually take on battleships face to face and still come out okay. Ooh, single barreled. Uh, let's go with the six inch since we can throw quite a few of those on here. Get a few of those around. Oh, 
little bit of a floor weight offset. Let's just offset that. And a little bit of that. Get some secondary guns. Can't put it here. Nope, you can. Just to rotate it a little bit. Casemates, three inch guns. Definitely get all the little three inch guns. Torpedo launchers. Definitely need those torpedo launchers. Uh, why don't you work? Okay, that was why apparently. I delete this from one. Nope, half white offsets. It's not good. Can I put this down here? Yes, yes I can, which means I can bring this back. Which means I can bring this back. I might have to delete these. That might have to be okay though. No good turning circles. Perfectly balanced here. You should be fine. Why are you freaking out? There we go. Perfectly balanced. Really weird looking ship. But all these six inch guns fire in about 20 seconds, which I can make a little better. There we go. Now they fire in under 20 seconds, under 19 seconds actually, to be specific. But we do seem to be over. I can't adjust that though. Just give me a second to deal with all this really quick. Even bring down the bulkheads. And I can go up to say 4,000. Now we're not too overweight. I don't want my bulkheads to go that far down. Flash for chance is still pretty high. I got this. We don't need mines with these. These are my combative ships. Maximum armor 4.3. Then we get 2.1. One one. Then half of that is just one point one. Have that as say just 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and then max this out. Max this out. What about just 6.6? 6? And then that works. Uh, 4, that works too. Negative 5, 5, and negative 5. Or no, 5. Yeah, I guess we can do negative five. Negative five. Uh, 31 cal, 28, 40 cal. These fire now in 16 seconds. Oh, cool. What is the range though? Eight kilometers, okay. These are five and you have four. Not a bad ship, not a bad ship at all. Drag this a little more forward. I don't know what I could do is I could drag these forward a little bit. And that way I could drag... well, that still doesn't really do anything. Uh, the armor's okay, I want to keep it that way. Harvey, keep it that way. I might have to reduce bulkheads. Five thousand tons. I could make it five thousand tons. That's a little long though. About six thousand tons. No, pretty close. My problem is then I have to extend these, which is gonna drag out the citadel even more. Which is not too great. 
Oops, deleted that. We're only 100 tons over now, which is eh, not bad. I drag this back too. This only goes here though. You drag this back. If I delete this, no, that's a lot of forward offsets. There you go, it's a little better. That could work. We're still 88 tons over, but I like it. We do have. I did have to go down to standard bulkheads, which is not fantastic, but I might just have to deal with it. I could always go to barbed one. Doesn't help a whole lot. What if I got rid of double hull bottom? I kind of want double hull bottom though. Oh, I need the anti flood definitely. Uh, I could get rid of this. I could do this. What else can I do? I don't really want to drop armor. This is supposed to be a very combative ship. Perfectly balanced though, that's nice. Oh boy, I don't know what I want to drop. It might have to be speed. Does this get any better? Oh, it does. Right there, okay. Producing beam makes it better. Okie dokie. Uh, call that a day. Let's get my little scout cruiser going, which will just be this guy going 23 knots, which should be the fastest ship, fastest warship. I don't really know if I'm going to consider a destroyer a warship. 23 knots. We can also make it like a scout ship where it's super small. It has like few bulkheads because it's not supposed to survive. And I do mean very small. Probably one at best towers because it's going to be spotting. That'll be at the expense of any potential guns. So I do need to throw a lot of guns on here. Can I not throw anything else on here? Really? I suppose I can rotate these. Can I? Nope. So even with induced, that's 100%, but that's at 23 knots. Could do cramped quarters. Um, hmm. Let's get summon guns. These are going to put some 4 inch guns on. I don't really care too much. Don't care in really the slightest. Still gonna get try and get a good weight offset though. In fact, I'm probably gonna drag these back this here there we go not bad uh casemates couple of threes and then a no twos still throw some torpedoes on here we want it to be somewhat combat capable but definitely won't be on the front line it's a flood one i want a citadel four kids eh, that would be nice harvey would be nice or let's just do increased, increased. Base use standard, ballastite, light shells, reduced shells. Enhanced reload, oh, tabbed out. Reduce that, 17, fast. Coincidence, and you can have vines. You only go up to 2.5, which halved is 1.2, which halved is 0.6, which halved is 0.3. Point three, point three, and this max is six point seven. Oh, 
Hey, that should be okay. Negative five, negative five. We're over weights now, which is not great. Make these 2,500? Yeah. 2,400? Yeah, okay, we're making 2,400. Exactly 100% of the engine efficiency, almost perfectly balanced. And these will be my spotter. I forgot to up the speed. Whatever, I'm not gonna adjust it now. Finally, let's make some destroyers. I think we'll make a combat destroyer, so the one with the best tower. Best towers. Don't have many funnels. Ninety two percent should be fine. Main guns, we do have barbettes. That will not be fitting. Unless I use this one. In which case that will fit. Three inchers should be more than enough. That should be more than enough, honestly. I don't know how I feel about this back here though. I should go back a little bit, but it's such a big barbette that I don't think I can. Wish there was a smaller barbette. There's really not though. Mm. Hold on, is this considered a smaller barbette? I don't think it is. I don't think the three inch guns will fit next to it. Oh, but if. Oh, they can fit there. I could fit some more up here. They've been dope. I could fit some. Not that many though. Okay. I can't fit this more bit on the back though. Let's grab this thing, put it back here. Grab a couple three inches. Put this here, drag these back a little bit. Because then I also need torpedoes, which I completely forgot about. Torpedoes will do the job just fine. What if the torpedoes appear? Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we put gun here, here, we put gun here. And we put torpedo right here. Maybe not that far ahead. Okay, yes, it does have to be that far ahead. Torpedo here. Torpedo there. Torpedo everywhere. Drag these back a little bit, keep everything super compact. More torpedoes. We delete this bag gun. And then a couple more torpedoes. Where would I say what? It's a really big forward offset. Not really sure what to do about it though. It's okay. Couple three inch guns, couple torpedoes, probably don't need many bulkheads. Uh, this does a whole whopping 35 knots. Uh, get the unbalanced, all the steering, get the Harvey, the double, reinforced, and anti flood of one. Light shells, advanced, enhanced, coincidence, reduced, 17, fast, reduced as well. And we are really over, geez. I would only mines. Mine sweep is definitely necessary, though. 0.5 is the maximum. Okay, in that case, uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And then 1.1. 1. 
negative 5. Is it negative 5, not positive 5? Oh, is it because I made these 17s? Oh, that's annoying. Okay. In that case, push these up even further. I put them here now. Yes, I can. So let's delete that. Now I'll put them here. I just realized I don't need that huge thing. I can just get this with the three inch guns and you have so much more space. So I don't suppose I can do that? Nope. Death fit something back here now though. Okay, uh, still overweight, still don't have enough engine efficiency, it's not looking fantastic, I think we reduced speed, 34, 33, 33, okay, 33 works, probably should have made these shorter, but whatever, whatever, and then uh, let's just make some Dirt cheap torpedo boats. Whatever is cheaper. 100, 100, over 100, okay. Smallest possible, no bulkheads, no range. Oh, wait, no, we do want range. We want all the range. Want all the speed. Let's do 28.5 at max for these two. 29. I'll consider it. Then get the smallest main tower. A single 1.1 inch gun. Come down here and you go negative one. The negative is short as possible, so it's a tiny, tiny little gun that won't even let me bring up the cool tip, apparently. Then you get torpedo launchers. You slap these bad boys everywhere. I forgot the funnels again. That's way too big. Get at least some engine efficiency. And you go 30, 32, nope, 31.5, nope, 31, yeah, 31, 31 knots, we make these 17 inch guns, reduce shells, light shells, and no mine sweep, don't need all the enhanced reloading. Fast torpedoes. There you go. That's a dangerous ship. A little over half a million. Actually, actually it's um, a little too heavy. Oh, yes, I forgot to do this and this. Does that mean I can get to the 32 now? Nope. 31.5? Nope. Still 31. Come on, let me put another one there. A beam, what about negative 5%? Negative 5, negative 4%. Okay, negative 4%. Okay, tiny little, tiny little ship. Okay-ish range. 
into that range so that we can actually get to the target without running out of fuel. Still probably gonna run out of fuel though. I can't make another design. I wonder if this one would be faster. I mean, 31 and a half knots, is, or, or 31 knots is not bad. Uh, I'll probably just deal with that then.